Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to unlock your bootloader, root your device, and install Clockwork Recovery Mod on your Nexus 4. It's pretty simple, really easy to do, and uh, let's get right into it. So first things first, you're going to want to do this. You want to go to your uh, settings, I'm going to cover my name there. Uh, we're going to go all the way down, and you're going to need these developer options available. So to get them available, um, you go all the way here to, where is it, build number. <clears throat> and you just click this seven times. Just uh, click it seven times and then uh, as you can see it already says for me that there's no need because it already has a developer options available. But once you get these options you're gonna go over here and you're gonna put on USB debugging. You need to have that checked so make sure you have that. So once you have that done make sure you install the Nexus 4 drivers. There's two ways to do this. Either just plug in your phone uh, and let the drivers install automatically or you could download the toolkit which you're gonna have to do anyway and install them through the toolkit and so um, <clears throat> which is the next thing you have to do which is install the toolkit obviously so go into the link in the description you'll be able to download and install that and then it will be ready to go before you open the toolkit after you have installed drivers make sure you plug in do this before opening the toolkit it is important okay as you can see USB is connected Windows recognized it and now you may open the toolkit and this is how it looks loading up and uh, we know that we don't need to do any updates alright so you should see something like this uh, there's only one option so obviously you're gonna go with that one hit one and enter and then we get to the main menu here and uh, like I said if you haven't installed the drivers already go over here and hit number one which will install the Google Nexus 4 drivers you do have to have those installed and then um, you would have to close this uh, toolkit and reopen it so that it can recognize your phone. Why I say that is because up here, if you don't see your device listed, there's going to be a bunch of random numbers and a random letter combination. If you don't see this, that means it has not detected your phone. First things first, when you uh, do this, we have to unlock the bootloader. It is a must. And that over here is option three. So we hit three. What do, what do we want to do? We want to unlock the bootloader. So hit one. And then it's going to tell you that you need to be in fast boot mode. Now what is fast boot mode? I will show you right now. You go back to your phone. We're going to turn it off. Okay, so um, phone is off. Once again, let's try this. Uh, make sure, I guess the case was uh, preventing me from putting, pushing the buttons. So you hold volume up and down and turn it on. And there it is. This is fast boot mode and this is what it's asking you to be in before you continue. So I've already had mine unlocked. Uh, as you can see on the bottom, it says lock state unlocked. So um, I'm just going to show you how to do this. What you want to do is when you have it in fast boot mode, you want to plug it back in. The toolkit will recognize it. And over here, it says, uh, do you want to continue? Just hit Y and enter. And then it's going to go through the steps to unlock your bootloader. Now since I already did it, we're just going to cancel that. If you come back to this screen, after you have unlocked the bootloader, uh, you want to stay on the screen because to root it we need to get it into fast boot mode once again so we're gonna go to the toolkit this is after you have unlocked it unlock the bootloader alright so over here next up is the root option so you want to hit number four okay on this screen what you want to do is uh, you want to go over here and you could either root the device only or root and install BusyBox. That's completely up to you. Uh, you cannot do the other ones just yet because we do not have CWM recovery installed. So go ahead and just uh, root the device. Uh, so we're gonna hit number one, or if you want BusyBox, hit number two. Hit enter, and it's gonna say which one do you want? I would go with the uh, Super SU .98. <clears throat> that is the one that I prefer, and it looks like uh, Super User 3.13 is actually disabled. So uh, that you don't really have a choice in this matter. <laughs> so go ahead and hit number two. <clears throat> and once again, follow the steps. It will want you to be in fast boot mode. So it says right there, make sure you're in fast boot mode, which is this screen, which you should still be in after you have unlocked it. So go ahead and do that. Make your choice, but I'm going to go back to the main menu. And after you have rooted, you want to go over here. Where is it? Number six. Number six says uh, flash recovery, custom, or stock recovery. So hit number six over here. Uh, I highly recommend 
uh, flashing the clockwork recovery mod on there. So hit number one, and you will once again need to be in fast boot mode. So everything you're doing here, make sure you're in fast boot mode. Uh, hit hit your choice, which is number one if you're you know going with what I recommend. Hit enter, and then there you go. It's as it's telling you to uh, hit yes or no. Okay, so after you have done all that, uh, to make sure that your uh, if everything went properly, you should uh, be able to go into recovery mode, and it should take you to CWM recovery. So there it is. This one's actually really cool because it's uh, it works with touch. There you go. So now when we boot in, we should uh, be able to see uh, the super user icon to ensure that we have been rooted. So let's wait for it to load. Okay. All right, there it is. So as you can see, there's our little Superman guy. That is, uh, ignore that sound. That is uh, how we know we are rooted. There you have it guys. That is how to unlock your bootloader, root the device, and install Clockwork Recovery Mod. I will also show you how to install Cyanogen uh, 10 after uh, I guess it becomes more stable. I might even do it sooner just because I'm excited for it. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.